we spoke, I've turned 25, and 25 was my scary year. To be honest, any year after feels even scarier. I guess that's why they call them the panic years. How come when we were little we thought we'd have it all figured out by 25? Have a proper full-time job, be married, have bought a house, starting to think about kids. I mean, these aren't even things I want for my life anymore, yet I can't help but panic that I'm falling behind because I haven't achieved them. That's why I'm here, I guess, to document these feelings and work through them with you and to show you how I'm experiencing the panic years. Oh my god, I forgot how to talk to the camera. Hi guys, it's been a while since we last spoke and I can't believe I'm choosing now when I look like this to speak to you. But Nina's about to come over and I'm about to get ready to go out to the fringe tonight. So I thought before um, I show you that we have a little catch up. I'm just really excited to get back into making YouTube videos again because I have a really exciting update to tell you guys. It's kind of terrifying. It kind of ties into the whole theme of this video which is your 20s, your mid-20s, you're a time for experimenting. You don't have to have everything figured out. And I definitely don't have everything figured out, but I have decided to quit my job, become self-employed. Now, before you say anything like, oh my God, another influencer becoming self-employed, whatever, this is actually mainly to pursue my small business, which is Studio Sony, where I sell my prints and ceramics. Obviously, making ceramics is super time consuming and like the demand that I have and had, I hope I still have it. I just didn't have enough time and I couldn't put my 100% focus into it. I really, really want to, like I wanna see where it goes. Plus I wanna see where it goes by creating content, creating photo and video content on YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. It's something that I have loved for so many years and it's been my dream since I was a little girl. This is honestly so scary, but I feel like a lot has led me to this moment. I'll definitely talk more about it in the coming days, in the coming videos and whatever, but yeah, just wanted to update you guys on that. So I guess a lot has happened since we last spoke, except kind of not really. Um, I just got back from Japan and I am going back to Italy this year, but only for a few weeks. I'm just going back to Kamoli, which um, was the last video that you would have seen on my channel. I cannot wait to go back there. It's like my soul's home. And aside from that, I'm going to be here documenting my life as a small business owner, artist, content creator, 25 year old girl who's just trying to figure things out. Okay, let me check back in with you guys when I look a bit nicer. We're ready to go, Nina. And we're giving what we usually give, which is the same but completely opposite. We don't really know what to expect. We've gone pretty casual. I've got creased glasses jeans on. Nina's got her really cool skirt from Japan. We're both kind of giving ballerina. Goth ballerina and off-duty ballerina. So this top is from by Neil Vernon. Glasses, witchery, Japan. T-shirt, skirt. <laughs> That's like that girl. <laughs> yes, I don't know. I don't remember where the skirt was from or the t-shirt. All I know is I'm wearing docks and this bag. Right, we'll see you at the fringe. Time of year in Adelaide and the best place in Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> finding it extremely difficult to get up and get my day started. I think I've been saying that for the past, gosh, how old am I? 25? Probably for the last 10 years of my life. I don't know what it is, but I just wake up with this 
feeling of overwhelm, of pressure, and I know it's a symptom that I don't have a routine. My body is searching for nourishment. It's searching for proper rest. No scrolling. Funny thing is, I was going really well with this last year, at the end of last year, um, because I had some really solid goals and routines that I had in place, and I just haven't figured those out for the start of this year yet. Especially having a holiday at the start of the year, it really didn't get me off on the right foot in the sense that I haven't built my routine for 2024. I know we all laugh and joke about bed rotting on TikTok, but it's definitely something that I struggle with. You know what? I'm 25 and that is embarrassing. I hope one day I can look back on these videos and know that I have changed and grown a lot in terms of this issue, but for right now, I guess let me get up and show you. When I do eventually get up and get out of bed, this sort of routine is what helps me properly start my day. This is so stupid. Okay, so I successfully got ready. I'm not feeling the best, but I need to go run some errands. I'm not gonna take you with me, but basically, I just need to go pick something up for a collaboration that I need to film today, and then get some cat food, and then I'm gonna go to the gym, do a little treadmill walk, um, just get back into the routine of going to the gym again. I was really enjoying it before I left for Japan, and I really, really need to get back into that. I'm gonna catch back up with you guys later today. After all of that, while I'm getting ready to go to the Fringe again tonight, having a little date night with Paul. I got invited to some more Fringe shows, so I'm bringing him along. I can't wait for that. And hopefully by the end of the day, after I've done my work, which I really, really need to, cleaned my house, I will feel a lot better. And it's the start of the weekend. I'm so excited for this weekend. It's like all of my favorite activities. So see you guys then. I have just had the most chaotic last past hour. I said I would come back to you when I'm looking good and the house is clean, but I thought I'd give you a little update because Paul's almost here. It's almost the end of the day and I haven't finished cleaning. As you saw, my house is still a mess because my vacuum, which I own two long-haired cats, my vacuum in a small apartment is arguably the most important thing. I literally vacuum three times a day. That's not even an exaggeration. Decided to die. This wasn't like an issue, like it is dead. It's so old. I went online, I saw Dyson was having a sale over $400 off. So I went and I literally ran Bought a new Dyson, literally the cheapest one, whatever, I hope it does the job. And then I had to go to a house viewing because Paul's looking to move out. The house is amazing and it's literally like two blocks away. So good if he got it. I thought I would show you guys. I also went to the post office because I had to pick up a delivery. This is from one of my favorite brands. I'm literally wearing this skirt from them right now steel this isn't sponsored or anything but they did gift me these and this is literally one of my favorite brands so i'm not shopping at jeff avenue anymore and i feel like steel has been kind of my jeff replacement especially for cute summery items like this so i got another one of the skirts um because i just love this one so much. It has this really cute button front detailing and then it's little shorts underneath and the best part about this is it's also a skirt on the back. And then in the same print, because clearly I've been loving straps, I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous dress. It doesn't like sort of sit mid-waist, it, it sort of comes down a bit lower, which I think is a really flattering and kind of more modern Silhouette It'll be so good for the rest of the summer and for Italy. Okay, I'm gonna tidy up the rest of my house. I'm so excited for this evening. Oh, it's gonna be such a fun summery night.
haven't had like a summer Saturday in a really long time and I don't know fringe season weekends just feel so good I can't explain it actually had a really rough start to my morning this morning first of all Miffy woke me up at 10 to 5 um, and then I waited a bit and then I fed her I was literally searching up how do I get my cat to eat later in the morning I fed her went back to sleep woke up at 8 a.m. to the loudest crash she had knocked over my glass lamp it shattered absolutely everywhere um, luckily it's only from Kmart and it was $15. That's fine, I'll go get a new one today. Let's go meet Paul down the road. He just went to go get some breakfast. Um, we're just gonna go to the park and then go to the cafe. I look very ghostly in the camera. I swear I'm a bit more tanned in real life. It's a cute summery outfit on and just gonna go to the park. I don't know what overcame me. I was picking up the lamp that Miffy broke. I saw this rug and I guess that's why I came out as dangerous. Don't really know why I bought it. I used to have a rug in my living room, but I ruined it by washing it because it was jute and you're not supposed to wash jute. And I want to try this out and it might look hideous because my couch is disgusting. I'm trying to manifest a couch collab because I know I can create some amazing content. Yeah, I might just return this rug. I guess let's put it out and see what we think. I got it on and I honestly thought that I was going to return it because I was like, this was a real rushed purchase. But for the price, which was less than $100, I think I'm gonna keep it for now at least. And I think it really like brightens up the room because my floors are quite dark wood. Um, if you're Australian, they're Jarrah floors. That kind of flooring is really rare, really good quality, but it is really out of fashion. So I'm trying to learn to love them, but I think this carpet is good for now. It is just making the couch that I hate so much so glaringly, obviously bad. I'll put in a couple of photos of like what I want for a couch and what I want the kind of vibe to be from Pinterest. Because of that, because, okay, I have this like mid-century record player holder and then like the couch has these ugly faux mid-century legs and it's just like giving fake mid-century. I got rid of the little cane um, magazine holder that was here. I actually just put it behind the couch. And aside from that, now I'm thinking I kind of want to change this print, which is my own from Studio Sonia, which I love. And this one here, like, I just want to change them out to something. Um, I love pink, but maybe I need to take away some pink. Maybe I want to bring in some red or, like, orange, cream. Um, I'm not sure. This is my Pinterest home board, by the way. I could literally scroll on Pinterest for hours, and I do. I'm also on AliExpress. Press, which is where I like to get some affordable homewares. I really like this lamp and I think I'm gonna buy this projector. The one I have is so clunky and it's on sale right now. That would be so vibey. I think I'm gonna do it. I also need to really, really wash my hair now. We've had the slip back for too long. Comment what you think of my new rug. Wow, this was such an impulsive day.
Since I last posted on YouTube, I read this book that truly changed my life. You may have heard of it, it's called The Artist Way and it's basically a collection of essays alongside a 12 week course. I won't say too much because I definitely want to make a proper video about it in the future but when I tell you it changed my life, I don't even know where to start. I'm currently doing the 12 week course again but in an artist cluster with my brother and Nina. Um, we meet every week to go through the task together and inspire each other and cheer each other on. Since starting The Artist Way, I've discovered scrapbooking, I've released a collection of ceramics and now, and this is still so crazy for me to say, I am fully self-employed. It has taught me gently and openly that I don't have to have it all figured out in these chaotic, careening years that are my 20s. What a day, guys. Oh my god. I have had just the loveliest weekend ever. Fringe season is the best it makes me so happy and i know it means that summer's almost over but i don't know i'm excited about the new beginnings that that brings and i don't really mind that summer is almost over because i just booked my flights back to italy I mentioned to you guys i'm only going for three weeks i'm going to one place and i'm just so so excited and so happy it's going to be something really beautiful to just punctuate my year and it will give me something nice to work towards um, with studio Sonia. i'm really really grateful and very feeling very privileged right now so feeling more motivated to get back to work especially now that i'm self-employed because i need to make the money to fund all of this so yeah, tomorrow's Monday, a new start. I've got an exciting phone call in the morning. Um, hopefully I will tell you guys more about that soon. I'm just gonna spend the day making ceramics and getting back into that, which I'm really, really excited. But yeah, I just wanted to have a little chat to end out the video. Um, I just posted a reel of that journaling content that you would have just seen in here. And yeah, I just wanted to say um, for the rest of you girlies that are in your 20s, whether you're just 20 or you're about to hit 30, you know what? You don't have to have it all figured out in your 20s. Your 20s is not for figuring out it all out. Neither is your 30s, neither is your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. I don't even care what age you are. Nobody has it figured all out. It's kind of like once you realize that, the jig is up. We're all just out here figuring out what we're doing in this crazy thing called life. So don't be hard on yourself. Be gentle on yourself. Do the things that you really love. And I know I had a very beautiful weekend, but I'm not going to sugarcoat things. Sometimes what life looks like is horrible it is terrible you know for a lot of people me included watching content creators it's because it's aspirational and yes a lot of the times you know showing these beautiful moments of life it makes you feel good but that's not the reality the entirety of the time and i'm not going to sit here and sugarcoat things i've had an amazing wonderful beautiful weekend and i'm so grateful for it but one that is not the reality for my life 100% of the time. Two, that's not the reality for many, many people in the world, especially right now. That's always in the forefront of my mind, um, not only personally thinking about personal life ebbs and flows and ups and downs, but I was in the city today and I saw a march for Palestine, which people have been out marching um, since October, every single Sunday and it's just incredible to see um, the strength of these wonderful, strong humans. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm having a bit of like an existential moment. It can be beautiful, it can also be terrifying, and it can be disturbing, disgusting, inspiring, gorgeous, amazing, and hence the post I made, you don't have to have it all figured out because nobody does and nobody ever can. Once again, I'm feeling disheartened by my lack of eloquence, but thank you for hanging out with me, your resident, hopefully cozy content creator. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. So many exciting things coming up. So yeah, I'll see you guys then. 
Love, love, love.